This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. Here with uh, storm specialist Carl Parker. So if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. A worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast-moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. Panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. A man and a woman are enjoying a private plane ride when suddenly their pilot slumps over and becomes unresponsive. Watch the trees and you'll see the plane is really sideways and they are really freaking out. It looks like she is going to take off her safety belt and jump when the pilot springs back to life and everyone starts laughing. Everyone but her. Do you think this joke went too far? I think there is a certain line between tasteful and terrifying that they may have crossed. And any prank where you fly with your eyes closed probably isn't the best idea. This Colombian video from 2008 is apparently the last footage taken by four men that disappeared, found inside an abandoned car. The footage shows the men driving towards a strange person dressed in all white, possibly a wedding dress. They slowly approach the person and attempt to drive around them, and that's where the video ends. What happens next is a complete mystery, since this was the only footage found. Skeptics have been unable to debunk this video or find the whereabouts of the disappeared men that were mentioned. It appears whoever was standing on the road that night will remain a mystery. Jay Swingler is a YouTuber who claims to have been stalked for a long period of time in a very bizarre manner. He never sees a stalker face to face. Instead, they prefer to send Jay videos of himself that were taken without his knowledge. And some of these videos record very intimate moments of his life. Here, for example, is a random video of Jay fast asleep next to his girlfriend. It was apparently taken late at night through a window. To make things even worse, Jay says he has received these videos through the file sharing app called AirDrop, but by design both parties have to be within 30 meters of each other for the app to work, which means whoever sent this was very close by. I guess there's a possibility the video could be fake, but he seems genuinely fearful and truthful in his explanation. I think it is probably real, but I encourage you to watch the full video and let me know. Beam Me Up Scotty, published to YouTube in June of 2019. This CCTV footage reveals a possible spirit captured on video in Port Moresby that same year. The footage shows an intersection that looks to be on the outskirts of the city, probably from restaurants or shops that are still open at night. Street lamps illuminate the roadway, blinking on and off as a truck turns at the crossroads. Then something strange and out of place appears. On one corner of a median, a ghostly glowing mist manifests before rising upwards and out of sight. On closer inspection, the small figure appears humanoid, glowing at its core. But what is it, and where did it go? According to YouTubers, most who've watched this video arrive there by typing in a random emoji into the search bar. That may be because the video shows a woman replacing her prosthetic eye. 
At the start of the video, the woman's eyes look nearly identical. The coloring is the exact same. In fact, I'd be surprised if you knew without reading the title that one of these eyes is fake, and I'd highly doubt that you could guess the real from the prosthetic. That's how good prosthetic eyes are in this day and age. But what happens next will make you question everything. The smiling woman holds open the bottom lid of her left eye, and after a little bit of finicking, the eye slides right out. All that remains is the eye socket. The woman then shows you her prosthetic, which is really just the front half of an eyeball. It is concave and empty behind. She replaces it in her eye by inserting it up behind her upper lid and then pulling her lower lid out to wrap around the bottom of the prosthetic. The eye is now back in place. She demonstrates its movement, and while it doesn't show as wide a range of circulation as a regular eye, it's certainly impressive what modern technology has done to improve visual prosthetics. This pirate treasure was planted for YouTuber the Pukka Pukka's six-year-old daughter. She was wanting some pocket money, so she reluctantly sent to clean out the old unused window box. Little did she know she would find a treasure map amongst the old brass, the YouTuber writes. The map leads to a secret room sealed upon her conception seven years ago. While cleaning out the old window box, the young girl finds a load of old doorknobs and a secret map. The map shows that their house has a secret room. The father takes her into the hallway, tells her to place the map on the ground in the same orientation as the home, and asks her why they must go to find the secret room. They wind up in the girl's room. She says it would be weird if there was a hidden door in her own room. She starts pounding on the wall and notes that it sounds hard, not hollow. The father joins in and says it sounds hollow in one part of the wall. They decide to cut the wall, as there might be treasure and lots of money, like $150,000 so they could go to Disneyland. As the girl suggests, they cut open the wall and do in fact find the secret room. At first, the girl assumes there's nothing in it, but at the far end of the room, a small silver treasure chest sits. Inside are necklaces, jewelry, and doubloons. What a great way to send your child on an adventure. What would you do if you heard intense screaming from an abandoned building? Post it to the Sir Spook subreddit. This video was filmed in an abandoned office. The clip shows the person filming climb up some stairs in a dark, very buggy building. Some eerie screaming and whistling is heard from somewhere beyond. As he continues through the building, entering another room, the agonizing screaming gets louder. He walks closer and closer to another room, but seems to have finally met something that scared him enough to flee, although I'm not sure why those screams weren't enough to begin with. Many in the comments agree that the screaming would have sent him running for the hills. Some even suggest that the Redditor should have called the authorities, as it sounds like someone was in distress. As Britain on Reddit noted, Um, why were you going further? Redditor SRGB Ski remarks that it sounds like someone was being jumped and the filmer walked in on it. Any way you slice it, that sound certainly stays with you. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents, in fact, claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Have you checked your home security cameras? You'll want to after seeing this video. 
published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SirPenguin09. The Redditor explains that everyone was at the hospital visiting his cousin on June 22nd. No one was home, but when they checked their security footage, this is what they found. The clip shows a blur of something walking past. While the visual isn't clear, it's definitely a human figure. Sir Penguin goes on to say all doors were locked, all windows were safeguarded, and that no other security cameras around the house caught any movement. So if this is a person, how did he get in? And if not, how will this Redditor get him out? Many in the comments are just as perplexed as Sir Penguin, but Redditor 2 low 40 sums it up best, writing, Ghost or Home Invader? The thought of whatever this is walking through your home is absolutely terrifying. When you visit a place that's notoriously haunted, don't expect to be disappointed. Posted to YouTube by Corndictive, the uploader writes of this clip, Watch the very top window of the house. That flash didn't happen when we were taping this, and none of us know what it is. There were no cars out when this happened. The top window in question is that of the Glenmore Mansion. This clip necessitates a little background on this spooky place. As it turns out, many of the historical sites of Jefferson County, Tennessee are crazy haunted. Glenmore Mansion was built in 1799. It belonged to a family for a century and was later bought up by Mr. Milton Preston Jarnigan, who named the house after his first son who passed away as an infant. The home was in the Jarnigan family for a further century. Over the course of more than two centuries, passing in this old home were bound to occur, resulting in the haunting of these hallowed grounds. According to some legends, the house is like an Escher drawing in that the exterior windows are more in number than the interior windows. Others also suggest the home's height changes. Although some say the Mega Mansion has 15 rooms across 5 stories, with other sites reporting there are 27 rooms. When the mansion falls dark, visitors claim there's a presence roaming around the home. But don't worry, the presence is benevolent. Some believe it to be the ghost of a local historian, Thomas Roach. When alive, Roach claimed that if ever a ghost was found there, it would be him. But one of the creepiest sightings happen outside the mansion altogether. A young girl is often seen walking along the estate's road at night in the darkness. From unexplained sounds to shadows in the mirrors, the mansion has had its fair share of ghastly ghosts. Tours of the home are routine, but once the lights are out and the house has been abandoned for the night, some say a light turns on in the attic. This Victorian gem of a house seems so perfectly cookie cutter that it's the perfect place for a haunting, and the unsettling nature of the home is confirmed by this video. The crew focuses in on an upstairs window where they see lights or a flash of white and something moving inside. Can you spot it? Whether you believe in ghosts or not, you probably wouldn't want to be in Glenmore Mansion when the lights turned on. A YouTuber named Jeff Saxton is playing with his Ouija board all alone one Friday night, he asks if any spirits are around him and immediately gets a positive response. He contemplates quitting but decides he owes it to his viewers to keep going. He's in the middle of asking some routine questions when all of the sudden this happens. What the? Yo, guys, 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 guys. Ow! Ow! His pointer slips away and something knocks over his camera. Jeff Saxton steadies the camera and refocuses it on three tiny claw marks, now adorning his right arm. It's hard to say if these are fresh marks or just old scratches from a cat or something like that, so give me your best guess as to whether this video is real or fake. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. 
Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Oh my god! Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the up. <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. Don't you hate it when you're alone in your haunted house? And the ghost girl comes out to play. Published in March of 2018, YouTuber Gencore shares this video of what he claims is the Ortega ghost girl. The man taking the video greets viewers, showing them around his living room. He then gives us a tour of his home. At one point, a stand-up fan in one of the rooms falls over, apparently of its own accord. You'll find out later that this is the haunted room. He leaves, lights an incense stick, and after a while, returns to the scene of the incident. A toy moves out from under the bed as the man speaks to the spirit, saying they told him she wanted to talk to him and that he's going to close the door. You hear a sing-song voice, that of a little girl. Dios Santo. Dios, dijo hola. When he shuts the door again, a loud banging is repeatedly heard. He opens it to find a basket in front of the door, not where it was last seen. Needless to say, he hightails it out of there. If you have no idea what's going on here, Aries Bautista has you covered in the comments. She writes, The girl played three times hard. He should not have opened. It is assumed that by touching three times, he opened a portal that the demons used to enter. Well then I guess he should have kept that portal closed. Someone's always gotta ruin the party. Posted to TikTok by Suntu Kajasi. This group took a bunch of photos at a waterfall in Indonesia. But one pic turned out much creepier than the rest. As the group poses before this beautiful falls, a black robe figure is spotted, lurking in the background. You cannot see its face, but it seems to be watching them. What is this figure doing? And did it lose their life in these falls? I guess we're left with more questions than answers for this one. Davo Velkrat explores an abandoned building on YouTube Live when his expression is interrupted by a distinctly human voice, or at least something doing their best impression of one. Eventually, Davo tracks the noise to a single room not far away. He waits for another minute, hesitant to go any further, and sees a face poke around the corner, but when he rushes in, the person is gone. A closer look at the room shows that there are no windows or doors that they could have escaped through from where they were positioned. There simply should be no way for them to disappear, and yet they are gone, leaving Davo Velkrat wondering what the heck is going on. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric relies on Ranonautica to show them the scariest place they've ever seen, and it doesn't let them down. They soon find themselves at the end of a long dirt road with multiple signs, and one of them is a warning. Google wasn't able to translate the wording perfectly, but apparently this sign says that the property is owned by a dangerous witch who has eyes on them at all times. If someone could tell me the full message, I would really appreciate it. They find two fences lined with creepy dolls. Some of the dolls are burned and have parts missing, as if they were used for black magic rituals before being placed on display as a warning for all to see. 
It must have taken a lot of time and dedication to collect so many dolls, and I wouldn't be surprised if the children who own them are being kept somewhere nearby. At the end of the road, they find three homemade mannequins wearing old clothes that could be scarecrows for a small garden, or more ritual props. Do you guys see that? Something looks weird about the one on the left. When they get closer, since I don't see any crops, I don't think it's a garden. The way this is all set up looks more like a memorial, if anything. I wouldn't be surprised if some passed on individuals were buried below the earth here, and I don't think I want to find out. A little farther up the trail, they find this old shack that looks more like a place to hold somebody or something creepy like that rather than a place to live. They are about to explore the shed when they feel distant eyes upon them and go running. I have to say that seems like the right choice. D Menace is a YouTuber from the Ukraine who gets a thrill from exploring abandoned places. He's really pumped to see every level of this old factory because in his mind, the bigger the building, the better the adventure, but little does he know this urban exploration has already gone wrong in a scary way. The abandoned place has a lot of dead-end rooms, not to mention a creepy basement that fills him with unease. He can't even imagine who would ever live down here, but it looks like someone has before. The scariest place in the whole factory has to be this window, because of what he's about to see next. D Menace is most likely walking around someone's turf. We all know where there's one creepy stranger, there's most likely more. Perhaps a whole misfit crew who doesn't take kindly to new faces, especially ones walking around with expensive camera gear waiting to get jacked. He soon suspects he's possibly being followed, and decides to cut the urban exploration short before something else goes wrong. And it does. On the way out, he sees somebody stationed on the other side of a wall, like they're waiting for him. He accidentally makes a sound and the legs disappear from view. The exit is within sight and he is trying his best to creep along this wall unseen. He is tall and wearing a hat, so he's easy enough to see. Within seconds, a man stands over him, the same scary man he watched from the window. After a tense conversation, he soon learns that they are simply exploring the same abandoned place he is, and probably thought they were being followed. It's a simple misunderstanding, but I can't help but wonder if this was scripted because at 10 minutes and 50 seconds, it looks more like D Menace is trying not to laugh rather than truly being scared. I guess we all react different to fear, so maybe the anxiety from getting caught is what caused this nervous smile. Anyway, the two urban explorers exchange information and agree to go look at more abandoned places together someday. Tell me if you think they knew each other beforehand, because if not, this encounter would have absolutely been terrifying for both parties. A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look. So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. Warning, if you summon La Llorona, prepare for the worst. While investigating the Hinsdale house, YouTuber Mo Sarji summoned the weeping woman and he lived to regret it. While speaking through a spirit box, he received some answers. Was there actually an exorcism here? Oh my God, that was a yes. And a, like an evil, like it was mad. But the interview is cut short. Was it a priest? <laughs> oh, you know it? 
What? Behind you? Something just f***ing appeared behind you. Something just f***ing appeared behind you. What? Like a f***ing mist. Like a oh my mist. god. Holy f***. I don't blame him. I'd be done too if I'd just seen La Llorona in the flash. This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullion Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. Nakita niya yung ano lalaki. Meron siya pinapahid sa puno. Tago lang tayo onte. Meron Doberman. Ano yung ginagawa niya sa puno? Loko to ha. The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So, yan yan. It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark, but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? Published to YouTube by Vision Paranormal in August of 2018. The channel writes in Spanish that an unidentified sense of fear was pressing upon employees at some government office in Mexico City. Some claim to have seen a monk on the ground. The channel writes, Always at dawn you can hear wailing and screaming until one day the security camera managed to capture that chilling being that scared them every night. Let's take a look. This image was captured in September of 2009 at 1.46 a.m. It appears to be a hooded paranormal figure descending the stairs and moving very slowly through the building. Could this be the so-called cursed monk who's creating such fear within? If so, what did he do to provoke such wailing and screaming? What you don't know can't hurt you, right? This video, posted in July of 2008, claims to show something unknown on a foggy winter day. As some boys play on some random tubes in the forest, one of the boys points out something in the distance. The boy filming zooms in but doesn't at first capture whatever it was. The first boy says it must just be an animal that went into the woods. They decide to go after it. The cameraman captures a humanoid figure at a distance, which he believes to be a yeti. Many in the comments of this video think it is legit, probably one of the most authentic videos I've seen. Icy Waterslide writes, What do you think? Is this true footage of one of the most mysterious monsters on the planet? A YouTuber named Papa Pepper is about to let his family play in the water when he senses something is wrong. The protective father decides to err on the side of caution and proceeds to check the water hole for any signs of danger. Just doing a quick look to make sure everything was safe. It's been up underneath this log. It's cotton mouth. A water moccasin. Hiding under this log, just barely poking out of the water, is the head of a fiercely territorial snake glaring back at the camera. And up underneath here, way in the front of that log. If you can make that out. Oh yeah, you can make that out. What is that? Big old water moccasin, guys. They are highly venomous and will go after people who intrude. They are the only type of water snake that puts up a battle rather than back down and will send someone to the hospital. Check it out down there. Let's focus in the center of the screen. Where you at? Find it. Find it. There you go. There's another one. Papa Pepper is smart to have checked for them before letting his family swim here. Otherwise, they could have gotten seriously messed up. Humans have always made computers, but on a website called thispersondoesnotexist.com, it's now the other way around. It uses a sophisticated computer algorithm to create realistic photos of people who were never actually born. Looking into the eyes of a photorealistic person who doesn't exist is strange enough, but get this, sometimes the computer messes up, and this is the result. 
In this first glitch, a fictional man's entire lower jaw is replaced with a solid chunk of bad data. It looks like he is screaming into the abyss, and the surprised, hollow look in his eyes just makes it even worse. And when the computer really gets things wrong, it creates this horrifying humanoid sidekick with a jack-o'-lantern grin and, oddly enough, glasses under pale green eyes that do not even fully surround the iris. The glasses don't have a nose piece because, well, the creature does not have a nose. A YouTuber named Brady Galloway is exploring an abandoned school all alone when he hears some kind of high-pitched yelp emerge from the other side of a heavy wooden door. It almost sounds like a small dog, even though there is no way that one would be all the way back here. He opens the door, presumably to see if the animal needs help, and waiting on the other side is a creature that was once human. In this frame, one eye is large and yellow, while the other is small and red. His neck looks turned at an impossible angle and almost broken. Even when he gets closer, the two eyes remain different colors, and neither of them are natural in any way as he descends upon Andy with a final blow. If you're thinking of messing with Bloody Mary, think again. The Shadowhunters team learned this lesson the hard way. In this video, they investigate. After one of their devices is triggered in this haunted place, they mess with the spirits here. They find the word Mary written on a mirror. I was crazy one. Then they do what you're told never to do. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. And she appears. What is this? And they face the consequences. With this friend injured, one of the crew appears to go seek revenge against the demon. But as he tries to, this happens. Do you believe in Bloody Mary? The Shadow Hunters certainly do now. Oftentimes, creepy things happen when you least expect it, but it's a rarity when you capture that moment on video. In this video's description, the uploader Junked Up Kitten notes that the footage was simply meant to be the crew fooling around, but instead they captured footage in the old county jail that once you see it, you can't unsee it. The uploader explains that the building manager of this defunct jail was friends of his father, so he let the boys film for nearly six hours. The group just wanted to fool around in there. They never imagined they'd catch anything spooky. And that's when things got real. We had no intention of actually looking for ghosts. We were just being dumb kids, the uploader writes. However, when we were editing our spoof, we found this face in the window. Only the three boys, the uploader and his two friends, were on site when the footage was captured. His friends were sitting at the booking desk while the uploader is in frame, oblivious to the man's face behind him, with a mouth wide open as though it's yelling. The spooky image appears to be in a holding cell window, holding cells that were locked at the time as they were used for storage. When the boy's face crosses the window's path, the screaming image slowly vanishes. Could it be a man now secretly living in the building? Maybe, or possibly some psycho spirit haunting his former holding cell? Question, what's scarier than a theater at night? 
answer, a haunted one. Published to TikTok, this appears to show the phantom caretaker of a haunted theater. Jay says the theater is supposed to be empty, but he keeps hearing a noise, so he's searching the theater to find its source. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Suddenly, he glimpses something in an upper theater box. He can't quite capture what it is, but after backing up a bit and zooming in, he manages to focus on this. It looks like the ghostly figure of a little boy dressed in a suit, although the image is blurry. The scary figure is distinctly there, leering out from a theater box. Phantom of the Opera? An intruder? Maybe he's just a ghost fanboy waiting patiently for the play to start. A TikToker named Mark Anthony catches this strange activity at a post office after hours. Some kind of hanging display swings all by itself while an identical display stays still. I think it could just be blowing under an AC vent, but then again, in the very beginning you can see all of the other wall displays in the other doors stay still, so it is weird that out of all of these, only one moves. This CCTV footage comes from the London Dungeon, a famous tourist attraction in England that's rumored to be haunted. An employee is tending to their duties in the laundry room all alone. When they go to open the door to the washing machine, a hand reaches out and makes a grab at them. Weirder still is how the camera switches to static merely moments before this happens. Since technological malfunctions can often indicate the presence of the paranormal, and also given the location, I think this strange video could definitely be real. And if so, it's something that this employee will never be able to unsee. Friends explore a park in North Hollywood after hearing reports of a maniac approaching random people. Soon they grow bored and decide to try to test the visual range of their night vision camera for fun. He tells his friend to keep moving back until she is barely visible. It's on night vision. Okay. How's this? Uh, keep going. Soon she is little more than an outline of a black silhouette against the night sky. When she is a good distance away, something that's been watching them the entire time snatches her into the shadows. If this video is real, then whatever grabs her possesses impossible strength and speed. It picks her up off her feet like she weighs nothing at all, which makes me wonder how big this creature is and how it manages to move so fast without any sound. Mr. Hammer is a fearless ghost hunter from Saudi Arabia who is always charging forward no matter how scary things get while exploring haunted abandoned places. He's exploring abandoned houses like usual when he begins to feel like he's being followed. Something's different about this urban exploration. He's not unsure if it's a paranormal encounter he's having or if a stranger is messing with him. Let's try to make sense of the scary stuff and creepy things happening in this bizarre video. <laughs> The mysterious figure is what has been following him since he was first outside of the abandoned building. <laughs> Ironically, a ghost sighting is what Mr. Hammer's after, but a ghost sighting is what he misses in real life. <laughs> Somehow, he does not see a creepy man looking at him from the doorway. Oh well, at least he caught it on tape for our analysis. I think this is more likely a friend of his pretending to make paranormal things happen instead of a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Almost anyone would have seen that mysterious figure in the doorway, especially if they were already on high alert. A fire to warm the darkness isn't always a good thing. Posted on TikTok by official GPT and Instagram by GPT official, this clip was captured during the Ghost Panic Team's live stream. 
The footage shows a man shouting into the wilderness. At first, you don't know what's going on as he spins around, but after a time, you see a figure perched in a nearby tree. The figure blends in with its surroundings until it lowers its arms. Then you can distinctly see its face, hair, and body as it remains perched on its limb. As the man talks to it, the figure stands up. Then, inexplicably, a fire is lit at its feet. The cameraman quickly flees the scene. It's unclear what the figure was and how the fire was lit, but by the cameraman's panicked reaction, I have an idea that this figure was nothing less than evil. Ryan fears his house is haunted. After seeing some scary things in the basement, he goes exploring and gets through most of the downstairs area until there's only a few places left to check, but just when he thinks his house might not be haunted after all. Oh my. Oh. Up the stairs runs a mysterious figure, a scary shadow person sighting if I've ever seen one. Maybe the steps are carpeted to muffle its footsteps, but it's beyond creepy how fast the shadow moves without making a sound. Ryan's scared reaction sounds about as realistic as it gets. He freaks out and runs away, and then walks to the steps where he last saw it as he regains his sense. Against his better judgment, he looks up and waits. He knows something is up there, but he cannot explain what it is, nor bring himself to face it. A scary sound, not quite a hiss, not quite a howl, not a moan, just a creepy warning noise comes down the stairs. He does the smartest thing anybody could do in this situation, stop exploring, get your keys and run. The Borgwanet House, built in 1876 in Sweden, is said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Scratching, knocking, and screaming comes from the walls, not to mention shadow figures and objects moved by a ghost. The first reports of paranormal activity were in 1927, and they've continued ever since. Dima Maslenikov wants to document any and all paranormal activity on camera. It does not take long. The house is still when he hears a weird noise. It sounds like an EVP of a distant scream. He gets up and looks in the room. Two knocks, both coming from this door. He sets up a toy for a ghost to play with that also has a motion sensor. Not only does the motion detector fall off, it continues to stay on for a full three seconds. When he turns around, something was in the room with him, a paranormal entity. There wasn't anyone in the room. The bear falls over on its own. Next, he finds an infamous old rocking chair that's said to be the center of a lot of paranormal activity. He takes a flash Polaroid and notices a large dark shadow hanging over it, a shadow that does not look like it was cast by the chair because it's in front. He tries to recreate the lighting conditions and is unable to make the same round shadow appear. No matter how many pictures he takes, it never comes close to being like this one. 
This does seem to indicate that it's a shadow figure caught on camera in the first photo. The investigator summons his courage and goes exploring the second floor of the Borguanet house. As he's watching the ceiling light moving by itself, a ghost pushes him. Watch for the camera blur as it walks by. That's when he notices a heavy piece of furniture has been pushed in front of a door. Someone was trying to keep something from getting out of its room. He moves the barricade and looks inside. It's an attic space with a small table for someone small to eat at by themselves. The space is empty. Whatever they were trying to keep inside has already left, so the legend spoke of shadow people screaming and knocking from the walls and objects moving by themselves. It's hard to believe it, but he really does seem to have encountered all of the creepy stuff in one visit and it all somehow seems real. A YouTuber named Ben S is low on gas so he pulls into a nearby station. He always wears a GoPro helmet when riding, and as he is fumbling with the card reader at the pump, it records something that he will have a tough time explaining later. A shadow passes by close enough to make Ben react. He turns around only to find nothing. What's really strange to me is how, if you pay close attention, you'll see the shadow disappear before it even makes it all the way across the pump. It's going from left to right normally and then suddenly vanishes somewhere in the middle. I know that shadows can sometimes play tricks on you, so I'm not going to say that this is 100% paranormal. If you have a scientific explanation as to how this could have happened, please share. Until then. I am inclined to take Ben's word that this was a phantom figure. What if you heard this sound outside your home? Posted to TikTok by Pablo Riviero702, this scream sounds like chills made audible. Happening outside the door of what appears to be a trailer, the scream is followed by dramatic banging on the door. De soberbio. Está sucediendo en estos momentos, así que, así que no sé qué. Whatever is outside starts shaking the trailer. It sounds like it's banging on every window, but you cannot see what's outside in the darkness. In a second video, you can hear even more terrifying sounds right outside. It honestly sounds like a demon. It continues to bang on the trailer. Would you answer the door? Come on, fellow adult, you can handle it. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018. This is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket billows up. It's then ripped off of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. Tyler Heitzen is bored in math class when he notices a ceiling panel going berserk all by itself. None of the other ones are moving except this one, though I can't say why. I know it can't be a fan blowing or anything like that, because the Snapchat audio is very clear. Take a listen. If this is real, like he says, then I think it might be time for Tyler to transfer classes, and maybe even schools. 
this ghost video from a bus station in Sydney, Australia. Has everyone convinced it's real? Even the camera equipment itself. A shadowy mist floats across the upper right monitor, and soon motion tracking equipment puts a bright orange box around it to confirm. It eventually floats off the monitor, at which point it should show up on the other monitor to the left, but nothing appears. The motion sensor tries to track it for a bit longer and then gives up. It has simply vanished. Sav and Jack records what they claim is a genuine 3 a.m. paranormal encounter. Sav wakes up after a bad dream with a strange urge to check on Jack. She says she is feeling some weird energy when suddenly picking up on this weird energy. Her phone picks up an eerie entity that disappears upon being discovered. Watch this part and tell me if you think it's editing. It's a little suspicious how she centers the camera perfectly on the area where the ghost is to appear moments before it happens, so some people think it might not be real. What is lurking on this roof at night? Published by Scary Labs in July of 2021, this paranormal team captured something unearthly prowling atop a roof in the darkness. The figure captured is bright green, almost digital in nature. It appears to be something in a hooded robe. First looking toward the crew, the figure turns and walks away. The crew doesn't seem to notice the figure at the moment, though it's captured again on camera as they walk toward the building. When they light a candle, the resistance registers again, but this time just its outline. This time they see it and run off in fear. The figure can be seen again still looming on the roof behind them. While many in the comments say this is next level editing, some are more inspired by the Oscar-worthy acting. We can probably gather that this is fake, but those who believe it's real are legendary. This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then... Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusun2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. If you're about to blame some nighttime mischief on your pet, hold off for a hot minute and watch this. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Barton Allwright said his cat has been knocking things over at night for the past few weeks and waking them up, which is unlike him because he's a quiet cat during the day. So they set up a surveillance camera to try and catch him in the act. This is what they found. The first segment shows something fluttering the leaves of this flower on the table, but we know it's not the cat because he passes by the couch to the left. Later, as the cat is sitting on the couch, a dish towel falls from the fridge. Then an object is heard moving in the kitchen, and a close-up reveals the thing jiggling on its own on the counter. At the same time, a strange shadow appears on the front of the counter, although it's not clear if it's the cat being alerted to the sound or something else. Soon after, another object falls loudly from the countertop. Thus, we cannot see too well, nor do we know where the cat is. Then, after a strange orb moves through the scene, something else moves on the counter and is pushed to fall to the floor, all while the cat is perched on the table far away, watching.
Then another object falls loudly next to it, which scares even the cat. This one wakes the owner up, who calls his cat a pain, but after watching the video in the morning, we're sure he regrets that. Was this cat, as some redditors suggest, just protecting her owner at night? Jared and Sable buy a USB stick from the deep web, completely unaware of what they are about to get themselves into. This strange man conducts an imaginary orchestra, in his mind as classical music plays, I don't think I've ever seen this person before in any popular movies or shows, so I am going to assume that this clip is both original and homemade. Let me know if I am wrong. Next up is a wall of vanity license plates with first names, almost like someone has been collecting them as trophies for a long time. Very Grant, Greg, Heather, Heidi, Jalen. Jalen. Eventually, Jared and Sable find another clip that I really hope is from some kind of video game or something like that. Again, tell me if you recognize this scene from anywhere. If not, then I don't even want to know the actual source. Ooh, what? gruesome. Is that zombies? I keep getting the feeling that this videos were connected to a string of disappearances somehow. The elderly woman apparently is the one who holds the answers. I know who did it. <gasps> I know who did it. Worst of all, Jared and Sable have trouble getting the video to stop playing, almost like it's cursed. I'm not saying that these videos are 100% real, but even if it turns out that all of the clips are fake, I suppose somebody still could have edited them together as clues to help solve something they've done wrong. On April 5th of 2016, this mysterious UFO was seen hovering around the International Space Station at 7.23 in the morning during a NASA live stream. I'll have to close out and open it back up again. Copy. A flat disc slowly rises on the blue horizon in the distance. It grows larger and larger and then appears to briefly invert itself while continuing to the surface. I have no idea what this thing could be, so please give me your best guess. As far as I know, NASA has yet to give an official explanation. May 17th, 2006 at 8.12 p.m. The Monterey Witch of Mexico was caught on video flying just above the Mexican hills. She glides above the ground, just as you would imagine a witch to fly through the air, floating through the sky serenely. There's a good several yards between her and the hills below, with plenty of blue between. After the clear view of her dark shape against the skyline, her profile is shown as a white speck against the green hills as she skates across a canyon. The video goes on for a good two minutes and it doesn't appear to be a hoax as the being traverses the cliffs. The figure is tall and cylindrical, flying across a very windy canyon, which makes some UFO researchers believe that it can't be normal. It must be paranormal. Diana Perla Chapa a UFO group leader and researcher from Monterey and a popular Mexican TV host and UFO investigator confirms this. Experts say that there is no way something could move so steadily because it's a very windy canyon, she said, speaking at the Mutual UFO Network of Los Angeles conference. A YouTuber named Razak Tube is ringing people's doorbells and then blending into their Christmas ornaments wearing a custom-made suit. It's a pretty funny joke until they get to the last house. When the owner comes out brandishing a firearm and a flashlight, they duck back into their car and try to play it off. It isn't long before their cover is blown and the neighbor comes stomping over. Wait, he's right there. There's a gun. Is he coming towards us? Yeah. Hello, sir? You just come to my door, knocking on my door? Sorry, I can't see anything. Yeah, you're right, you can't see anything. At this point, they stop making the YouTube video and quickly get out of there. I have little doubt that this video is completely real, especially considering the bonus footage his friend was able to shoot from the back seat. Who are you? 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 It sounds to me like he was debating on calling the cops on them. 
and fortunately decided not to. Seeing is Believing Published by Cryptic Media in October of 2007, a man is sharing his experience with the paranormal. When the paranormal occurs in plain sight right behind him, the man is explaining to his friend about a time when he felt like he was ambushed in bed. He describes feeling something unseen holding him by the neck while the bottom half of his body was rising. Yeah, in bed? Yeah, that's what I was well, what happened? No, I was just like laying in bed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, I dozed off, and when I dozed off, something like that was going to be but as he explains, watch the dark doorway behind him. A ghostly pale figure moves past in a flash. Although you can't make out what the figure is, it appears to be glowing. Some in the comments think it could have been someone else who lives there passing by the door. But commenter Jennifer Mills Young disagrees. She writes, Interesting because the spirit appears to have a light source shining on it or is giving off its own in the dark hallway. It is only highlighted in part. Is this the ghost the man is talking about? Or are these guys contending with numerous phantoms? For months now, a YouTuber named Bogue731 has been receiving unwanted attention from a man who rides the same train as him every day. According to Bogue731, this person would repeatedly attempt to touch and otherwise harass him while riding on the train. He has tried to tell him to stop in the past. I don't want to be friends. There's nothing you can do to convince me. But why? Because you make me uncomfortable. But this man will not take the hint. One day, Bogue731 turns around, drops the politeness, and makes himself abundantly clear. Stop following me. Sit down and stop following me. Eventually, a superintendent has to step in and take charge of the situation before it gets any worse. Can you get him to stop following me, please? Okay, somebody needs to get off the train and somebody sit down. Why are you following him? I don't know. She separates the two of them and leads Bogue to a different train cart so he can finish what's left of his ride in peace. Bogue is only there for a few seconds when he looks over and sees none other than his not-so-secret admirer staring him right in the face. Apparently, nothing he can say or do is going to convince this man to leave him alone anytime soon. A paranormal investigator in South Korea called D-Doc Mikol stands in the entrance of an abandoned apartment building with a haunted reputation that few dare to document. He means no disrespect to the spirits inside and is simply recording paranormal evidence out of scientific curiosity. Nonetheless, he only gets a few steps inside before he sees an object is moving by itself. A ghost pushing over a box is creepy, but not scary enough to stop an experienced ghost investigator like him. He keeps exploring the building, and thus the objects keep moving. Instead of running away in fear like most, he is bravely willing to examine an object after a ghost moves it. I don't see any strings tied around this stool but I guess someone could have pulled it away by hand. Just when he is about to leave the room, the poltergeist refuses to be ignored. Oh, 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 oh. A shelf tips over by itself. I thought somebody could have been hiding on the other side of the door, but look what happens when he checks the room. A second full-size shelf somehow falls out from within the small space behind the door, which is not big enough for a person to fit behind. And when he checks behind the door, at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, you can just barely see a shadow figure caught on camera. 
Down a different hallway, the ghost hunter sees one of the doors leading into a dark apartment is open. He knows a paranormal entity is near, and when he investigates a little further, this scary moment happens. <coughs> one thing I especially like about D Doc is that no matter how scared he becomes, he always makes it a point never to back down. He looks behind the door and into the empty apartment. <sighs> and finds nothing there. I see no strings attached to the sandals, especially during this close-up taken at 8 minutes and 59 seconds. Then again, this could be fake because the sandals take tiny steps and never actually leave the ground, which is not how a person walks when you think about it. Anyway, he finds slippers in front of another open door and experiences the same scary events. Ah, chuck, chuck. This time, he actually stepped foot inside the apartment and verified that it's completely empty. When he picks up the slippers, you can clearly see there are no strings attached, so at this point, I'm creeped out. Finally, while setting up an experiment to detect paranormal activity inside of this apartment, a mysterious figure briefly appears in the hallway. Was it a ghost caught on camera, or was it a prop? A laughing child runs from one room to another and something horrifying seems to playfully chase her. The shifting shadow follows closely behind and then disappears as quickly as it came. Some people say that this is just a bug on the lens, but I don't think so. Look again and you'll see the formless blob squeezes itself directly around the corner. I have heard of spirits sometimes befriending a child before possessing them. Hopefully that's not the case here, but whatever this is, I sure wouldn't want it anywhere near myself or my family. This giant statue was once caught in Vietnam. A huge group of villagers form a long line up a mountainside to catch a glimpse. The person hangs back and zooms in as much as their camera allows. First, they all start singing at 1 minute and 54 seconds. And by 2 minutes and 24 seconds, the giant statue has apparently come to life. Translate if you can. <laughs> At 2 minutes and 33 seconds, the statue seems to extend an arm out and gently embraces the crowd. But now the cameraman is in tears as he and his family watch the stone robes become soft and weightless as they flap like angelic wings. Did her stone robes really turn into fabric, or was something put over her? I think if this was a sheet, then everyone would notice, and no one would be impressed. At 3 minutes and 58 seconds, you can see a hand just barely peek out from under the robe as it gives a modest wave. By 4 minutes and 35 seconds, the mysterious waving hand is gone. The statue has returned back to normal and does not move again. Have you ever seen something out of place reflected in the window? Post it to the haunted subreddit by please recycle those. This redditor did, and he is wondering what these are. The redditor explains in the comments that his dog heard a sound downstairs, so he followed the dog down with the camera rolling. As he is panning across a dining room area, when he captures his own reflection in the window, panning past, something strange is reflected behind the cameraman in the window reflection. The Redditor is wondering if it's an arm. Some in the comments say it could be a ponytail, but the Redditor has short hair. Others think it's a fast-moving ghost or something leaving the scene. What do you think it is? Whatever it might be, it'll knock your socks off. Maxim enters another terrifying witch's house in this paranormal investigation. As soon as he walks in, the demon lets him know he is there. But it's when he lights up these demon dolls with ritualistic symbols drawn on them that he faces the real terror. Wow. 
While these may not be voodoo dolls, it certainly seems that Maxim just lit up the devil. The awful sounds coming from the spirit box seems to be coming straight from the fiery depths below. You'd think Satan would be used to a bit of fire. A YouTube channel called Abandon Exploring has been putting out exploration videos of haunted places since 2015. Then one year, they mysteriously stopped. This is the last video on their channel. March 17th, 2019 is when Mike and Hudson Flo of Abandoned Exploring go to a collection of abandoned buildings in the woods at night to see if there's anything scary. Steelworkers used to live here because there is an old haunted mill nearby. No one is supposed to go in, but people have spray painted the walls and disrespected the place, probably stirring up a ghost or two in the process. A stuffed dog is on the ground and it looks like somebody got snatched out of their shoe. Oh. Yeah, I it's thought that fake. was fake. Yeah. It's a fake dog, but that scared the out of me. Yo, that looks real. Oh my god. What's up with all these shoes? In the back, they find ropes that are too low to have been used on an adult. Look at these ropes. I hope those aren't nooses. Weird lights follow them as they wander back into the forest. They look like fireflies, but March is not the right time of year for them. <coughs> Damn, I'm trying to clear my throat, guys. My bad. Yeah, I know. Damn, this thing looks kind of big, bro. Notice how the last light is red. No towers are out here. Nothing out here has any power. A minute later, they find a second building surrounded by decaying trees as if nothing is able to grow here. Gotta be away somewhere. Maybe in the front. Oh, look at this, bro. This could be an uncovered grave, a secret entrance, or just a maintenance tunnel. They decide not to climb down and eventually find another way in. Inside is a floor lined with chemical vats. He climbs one of them and inside is a green liquid substance that looks highly toxic, especially after all these years. Another mysterious light shines down on them with no discernible source, and then they hear something I've never heard in any other ghost hunting video. It's pretty big that way, it looks a little flooded back there though. What the f It's like 10 o'clock. What would be making that noise? A song meant for remembering those who have fallen fills the room. When they go to see if anything's over there, their camera records a devilish EVP. Oh, don't step right there, bro. They split up to search two rooms. The spirit seems to be playing games with them. Yeah, there's there's a the room in here. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. It's not Mike. Mike's in a different room. Something else was behind Hudson Flo's shoulder. Back outside is another entrance. The room it leads to gives Mike a bad feeling, so he hangs outside. When Hudson goes in, something stops him. Hold on real quick. It's coming from that way, bro. It's coming from that way, I don't know. Tell me if this is a ghost or the wind. Here it is again. And as they hold still, they spot something else watching them. What the f is that, bro? You want to walk over there? You want to walk over there? Mm. We've been seeing lights this whole time, but here's when they first notice. Oh my, bro! I just I see two eyes, bro. 
Bro, I see two eyes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, look right there, look right there. Yeah, you see those two eyes? They run back to their car and can still see and hear whatever's following them. Sit in the car, maybe those around us. Yeah, hear them. Oh, they're right there. Open this. I've never been in that much fear. After a minute, they realize they are still being followed. There you are. See the eyes? Yeah. Look at those eyes. Right there. It's been over a year with no new uploads and people are starting to wonder. Is that dude? <laughs> a single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards the strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher. You can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago, this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor MyBrian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship? It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. Let's see if it's up there after we play. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. The YouTube team Greg and Heather's exploration know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. 
What the heck? What was that noise? <gasps> she goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her. Oh my Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. What is hiding in this deep, dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. A Reddit user named Never2 shared the following video hoping for some potential answers as to what his mother captured on her driveway security camera late one night. What starts off as a simple piece of home surveillance footage quickly turns into something utterly pulse pounding as you will soon see. Wow. So I'm, I'm just going to pause it again once it comes on screen here. We see a couple orbs just kind of flying around. But right here, this sort of ghostly presence starts here, disappears again, completely off screen, but is going to come back again right here and just kind of float off into the distance. I think what's especially freaky is that part right here where it's almost like the security camera glitches out and you can see it just a bit better once it does, which is just freaky to me. Kind of goes back and forth there and then it's just completely off screen to not be seen again. Just super, super creepy stuff. The strange figure's appearance on camera alone would be enough for some people to believe this is a paranormal entity, which is very understandable. But then again, it could be explained as a camera trick. But as soon as this strange flickering happens off to the left side of the screen, it is certainly hard to pass this off as anything but a ghost. Usually ghost videos are fairly hotly debated, but the comment section on this particular Reddit post seems to be in agreement that something odd was captured on the OP's mom's home surveillance camera. Whatever it is exactly though, is still uncertain. This recent video of an unidentified flying device was sighted in New Mexico. It looks like a disc-shaped object until one of the lights breaks away. What the what? Then they all briefly flicker out before lighting back up in a new formation. Is this some kind of special military flare exercise or what? I think I'm gonna go with what, and by what, I mean extraterrestrial life. 
A while back, a YouTuber named Hey Charmaine somehow came across a creepy doll head that she found fascinating in a way that was hard to explain. She gets a really weird feeling from it and knows this is more than an ordinary piece of plastic. So she puts it by her bed with the camera on at night to see what happens. One night, the creepy doll head moves all by itself, or so she says. It's pretty weird, but notice how the video has been sped up, a sign of stop motion photography. If this video was shown at regular speed, I would be more likely to believe it, but the movements look very abrupt, like somebody kept repositioning the doll a little at a time and sped up the video to create the illusion of movement. Mysterious lights keep showing up outside this man's residence in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Eduardo Ferreira captured the intriguing recurring lights of potential unidentified flying objects, which he published in both August and November of 2021. The August footage shows a bright white light drifting in the night sky. A close-up shows that it appears to be multicolored and twinkling. The light then flies quickly across the skies, vibrant against the dark clouds above. It drifts overhead until the view is blocked by an adjacent building. The second video, filmed in November, shows a series of bright blue twinkling lights, the same size as the first. They float in front of another adjacent building, just drifting there, but not moving in any pattern or course, as the previous light did. So after seeing both clips, what do you think? To what do these lights belong? Is there a logical explanation? Or are these lights cause for extraterrestrial concern, given the fact that Edward has caught it twice on camera already? I doubt it will be the last time he sees this. Mr. Green published this video in 2016. His description reads, Just a normal night with me, the missus, and our dog Freddy. Then, all of a sudden, he went mental at the wall or window, and whatever it was just touched him. This is no joke. I'm freaking out. The dog is barking at the window in the beginning of the clip. Then, suddenly, he backs away sharply and quickly. The couple believes the ghost touched their dog because of this jerking movement. The window. <laughs> what the f The dog spends the remainder of the video running around the house like a madman, looking for the ghost. He's no longer barking, but he does seem very agitated. His owner tells him to calm down now, and he does seem to calm down for a moment. But when the owner picks him up to hold him, he starts barking hysterically again. What could have touched that poor dog? Was it a ghost? If it was a ghost, what did it want and where did it go? This house guest is Eternal. Published by Jojo Owens in February of 2022, Jojo explains that he, his wife, and several guests in his home had witnessed a shadow-like movement in the living room out of the corner of their eyes. That's why when Owens heard a noise in the back room one night while his wife was sleeping, he set up his phone camera to record. This is what he captured. A tall shadowy figure is seen moving across the lit doorway at the end of the room. After witnessing this, Owens grabbed his phone camera to investigate, but turned up nothing. Neither was there anything in the room that might cast this shadow. Although one commenter suggested that there may be someone squatting in the Owens' home, Owens said this has been going on for three years, so it's highly unlikely. To whom does this shadow belong then? A dad and a daughter are all smiles as they board an elevator. The ride is smooth and they look at themselves in the mirror for about 30 seconds, completely unaware of how unsafe they actually are. Minutes later, the empty elevator is ripping past floors with enough speed to shake the entire carriage. The door is slightly open and nothing is working properly as the lift slams into the roof hard enough to dislodge panels and light fixtures. Thankfully, no passengers were on board, but had the two from earlier still been inside, it would have been a daddy-daughter demise for certain. I can only wonder how many times something like this has almost happened to you or me without realizing. A YouTuber named Vintango says his Xbox might be possessed by a ghost, and a bunch of people in the comments are backing him up. It's opening and closing at random like crazy, and then all of a sudden it stops like it's thinking about something. When it starts up again, 
and one commenter says that it kind of sounds like the ghost is trying to make the Xbox say help me. This video is from 2009, so the console was already up to 8 years old and possibly breaking down. Spirits try to communicate with all sorts of other electronic devices, so I guess an old Xbox is as good as anything. This YouTuber works security at a building that's so haunted, he can't even get past to the elevator without scary stuff happening. It's gotten to the point where he records anywhere he goes because the place is seriously that haunted by paranormal poltergeist activity everywhere. The building has a nice gym room for example, but it seems the equipment is always in use one way or another. Weird things are always caught on camera moving around on their own when he's out of arm's length. Para darles una sorpresa para cuando vengan, que no saben que estoy aquí. Hostias. But it is perhaps this haunted playroom area that sees the most paranormal activity of all. So that's a lot of freaky stuff to have happened, but he's been making videos for years and I've saved the absolute scariest video for last. You're not going to believe this one because it's that beyond creepy. He lives alone and hears the voices of a family coming from his room. When he calls into the darkness, he is answered by the shadow person sighting. The dark outline of a shadow moving in the small amounts of light coming through a crack in the door. There's no doubt that somebody was in there with him, but was it planned or was it a real ghost sighting caught on video? I think when you look at all of the paranormal video evidence caught on tape, you'll conclude that this place is really haunted. He could be faking it, but I don't really see how. Also, with barely any views on his videos, I don't see why he would continue for years on end unless it was really happening to him. Even ghosts are trying to go to college. Published to YouTube by Philip Potgeiter in March of 2016, this freaky school video was captured at Helpmecker College in Johannesburg, South Africa. The footage shows a phantom figure gliding down the hallway at around 11 at night. It edges towards a wall and merges into what we can assume is a classroom to the right. The figure disappears without further explanation. Is this ghost just heading to its next night class, or does it need help from Helpmecker to cross into the beyond? A ghost hunter named Solo Ambush goes exploring an abandoned morgue in the woods full of creepy things. The place has been deserted for years, but the smell of bodies has buried itself into the morgue walls. This table surface must be where they were prepared for burial. On it, he finds a needle to sew whatever shut. He puts it in his pocket, which possibly upsets the spirits because that's when the paranormal activity begins. He puts an object on the table and invites any spirits nearby to make it move. A defiant spirit moves things behind him instead. When he goes to investigate the noise, he finds nothing and then he gets an idea. Okay, let's switch off the light. A 
A figure in red silently passes across the floor of the haunted, abandoned mortuary with its head down. He runs after it and finds only the stench of decay is left in its wake, nothing else. He says this ghost sighting could be a reflection of light, but he is standing in a dark hallway with the lights off, so I'm not sure I agree with that one. Like many of the previously haunted places he's gone exploring in the past, what he's caught on tape in this building is most likely paranormal and terrifying. And as he leaves, Something slams the door closed behind him. The ghost hunter is no longer welcome to go exploring this haunted place. Not that he ever was to begin with. Is this a ghost or just the cold? Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by Louis D Vlogs X. This scary video was filmed in a cemetery during a live stream. The video shows old tombstones scattered throughout the graveyard. As the camera pans around, that's when you see it. Like yeah. level out. A semi-transparent figure appears to walk across the screen from right to left. It's so quick that it's difficult to tell what you're looking at. The camera then lands on one of the living crew, and it doesn't seem as though any of them saw this figure in the moment. Some in the comments think it's the cold breath of the crew member that you see moments later, but it certainly looks more solid than a breath in cold air. What do you think? I think some spirits are quite active at this grave. Austin Jones is a YouTuber turned pop singer who got into a lot of trouble over his numerous improper online relations with fans under 18. It all started in 2015 when he confessed to frequently asking teenage girls to make dance videos for him. I used to ask fans for twerking videos. It's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that I think is right. And I shouldn't have done it. The 16-minute apology video goes on to make some clarifications about the rumor. Nothing ever went further than twerking videos. They were never... The confession concludes with Austin Jones claiming to be a better person who has learned from his mistakes. Two years later, however, he was arrested by Chicago police for pretty much the exact same thing, except it was even worse than we all thought. Multiple fans soon came forward and told authorities that Austin Jones had inappropriate interactions with them online. One girl said she made 25 videos for him, eight of which were very mature in nature. Since then, police have searched his computer and charged him with two counts of producing underage materials. The case is still currently underway and the former pop star is confined to his home in the meantime. Unable to use the internet by court order, he has not uploaded in over a year. A lady in a car confronts this group after she believed they were making rude comments about her daughter. The group of boys try to argue that she is mistaken and they have done nothing wrong. The woman seems not to believe them and that's where things get heated. Follow us home. I'm just, I'm just trying to home. look to where you live. Why? Why? You live. You're not Why? coming to my house. I want to talk to your You're parents. You're not coming to my house. Are you going to cry? You're not coming to my house. She parks her car in the road and comes right up to the group. They begin to argue back and forth and nothing gets resolved. The police were eventually called and that's where the video ends. It remains unclear if the boys had done anything wrong or if the woman was acting like this for no reason. This next video shows that even a zip line is in perfect condition, with flawless equipment is never truly safe. Sometimes things just go wrong. A giant gator pops up to try and snag this instructor out of the air. There is a decent amount of space between the two, but I'm sure it was plenty close enough if you asked her. And she definitely knows what waits for her should she ever make a future mistake and fall in. So I guess the final and most important lesson of zip lining over water is to always keep your legs up because you never know what's lurking below the surface waiting to take a chomp. If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, 
We found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires. An absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. Do you hear that? Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022, someone is singing in this abandoned building. As Indra flashes his flashlight in the room, speaking to the voice, the sing song continues for a moment, but then all is quiet. <sighs> But then, when Indra tries to open the door, he can't get out. His camera light goes out and then starts flashing. As he turns around in the empty room, it's no longer empty. The light goes off again, and Indra is singing in the dark by himself for a time. The ghost girl is gone. What frights does this place hold? A demon sing-along doesn't sound like a good idea. This ghost doesn't want to be hunted. Published by Turkish channel HD Adam in November of 2021, the team is here to investigate the case of Jean Hoka. As they case the joint, they find dozens of nails strewn on the floor. Is there a meaning behind this? They're looking down another hallway and something hits at a curtain in the window. When the cameraman runs over to look out of it, you can see this window is on an upper floor and there's no one around. In another room, they find a glass, again with nails inside. The team wants to know what this means and asks viewers to share. Do you have any ideas? It might be the next step in solving this mystery. If you've ever wondered whether or not exorcisms are real, here is your answer. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the supposedly possessed woman in the video is making hissing and rasping noises as her exorcist lays a hand on her. Another young man holds her wrists. She opens her mouth like a snake, ready to strike, while she continues to hiss and rasp at them. In a second clip, her expression appears almost normal for a moment, but a second later, her eyes roll into the back of her head, and she hisses strangely, arching her back until her body is up from the couch. Before slumping over, like the demon has left her. You may be skeptical about possessions, but this woman does not look like she is acting. We can only hope the demon did leave and is gone for good. This alien-like creature perplexed everyone when the footage was released to the public sometime in 2008. Shell Company says they caught it on video hanging around one of their oil platforms about 200 miles from Houston, Texas. It was eventually identified as a long-legged sea creature called the Magna Pinna Squid. But even to this day, many videos still insist that this is evidence of alien life. As such, I just wanted to include this squid on the list to put the rumor to rest. A YouTuber named Sweet Dreams is shooting off Roman candles in celebration of the 4th of July when a shrill scream pierces the night air. <laughs> They track the noise for well over a minute until it becomes louder and more distinct. At the end of a short journey, standing a very close distance away, they discover the shrieking source hunched over and alone. What is that? Dude, what is that? 
He slowly backs away from the bent over gray humanoid and then goes into an all out run. The creature gives chase and Sweet Dreams turns around to find it swiping at him through the air. I can't tell if this is an actual humanoid or just one of their friends with makeup on, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. All of the other videos on his channel are just him playing video games, nothing else like this one. The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place, and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Ooh. What? Sure I heard him. Then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It's felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Just, like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I... Yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While well, I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? There's nothing more terrifying than what you cannot see. Post it to the oddly terrifying subreddit. This scary video shows a drive along a highway at around 5.30 at night in December of 2021. After a moment, a storm bursts into view via multiple lightning strikes. And then on the horizon, you see it, a black funnel twisting ahead. The tornado appears to be straight on in the direction this car is driving. As the lightning continues to flash, the twister is moving off to the left and growing larger as the car approaches it. Many in the comments are wondering why the car continues to drive toward it. Notice the raindrops on the windshield. They're moving horizontally toward the twister. When this happens, as Redditor Ballpen Dodger notes, you're too close. And when you're facing a tornado like this, that is the last place you'd want to be. A YouTuber named Cringy Parkour thinks he hears a scream from within the mouth of a sewer pipe and stands outside contemplating what to do. He walks into the pipe for about half a minute and comes across one of the most authentic looking creatures that I've seen so far. What the Hello? There's very little to make me believe this video is fake. You only see it for a split second, but the creature has glowing eyes and what appears to be long, sharp teeth. 
The audio really does match the overall timing of the video, and the creature's screams echo loudly and realistically as it gives chase. I really hope that this video is fake, and that this was just one of his friends, but something tells me this was probably real. A door closing by itself is another classic sign of a ghost haunting the place, and it doesn't always have to be a ghost slamming the door. A gentle closing is oftentimes twice as scary. If you're out there, please shut this door one more time. That's all I'm asking. Just me. Oh my. Okay, I'm. I'm getting seriously freaked out right now. The person who captured the paranormal activity says they were home alone when the door shut by itself a few times. I don't believe that just happened. I didn't think I'd get anything. Well, I'm definitely going to be filming this area more. He says a ghost slammed it shut in the past, but this time it shut it gently. Afterwards, he investigates the door to show us there is nobody standing on the other side because there is no room. It's apparently a haunted staircase, presumably leading to the attic. He says there are no open windows behind him, which was my guess. At one minute, you can see no string around the interior knob, which was my other guess. Freaky, right? This leaked video is reportedly taken by two friends somewhere in the United States. Their dog Jake starts to bark with excitement and really doesn't seem to want to go any further. Watch how the animal crosses directly in front of their snowmobile multiple times, almost like he's warning them to stop and turn around. <coughs> The two friends don't really think much of it and keep going straight, and that's when they come face to face with it. Holy A nearby tall gray creature sends them racing away. The alien-like creature doesn't make much of a sound at all, or at least not one that the camera can pick up, but I do think I can see its head turn towards them at the 2 minute and 20 second mark. The way the dog is acting before this happens also makes me believe this leak video could be real. We've all heard of the Headless Horseman, but have you heard of the Headless Errand Boy? Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip will have you doing a double take. The clip shows what appears to be a man without a head in Asia carrying a shopping bag as if just running some errands. He walks out into traffic and slides between two cars to cross the street. No one around seems to notice the oddity. The fact that he's without a head phases no one. The car he cuts in front of even beeps loudly, just hurrying him to get out of their way. So are our eyes deceiving us? Or is this just some fancy edit? This one has me scratching my head. What is this toy doing in the center of this haunted building? You're about to find out. Originally posted to TikTok by Texas Ghost Hunters, this clip has me terrified. The ghost hunters are hearing noises all around them. <laughs> Now watch the toy at the center of the hallway. As the toy rolls toward them repeatedly, they start to panic, but when they are brave enough to get closer, they see that nothing is attached. I'm not sure how this toy would have moved other than by the hands of a malevolent spirit. I personally think this place is 100% haunted. Do you? Jared Costa hears this eerie buzzing noise over his Southern California home at 5 in the evening. He looks above for helicopters but sees nothing. Take a listen and tell me if this sounds like a helicopter or not.
I think it sounds like nothing of the sort, but at the same time, I don't have a better explanation to offer. Commenters from Palm Springs to La Mesa all claim to have heard the exact same noise. Years later, the noise remains an unsolved mystery. A group of neighborhood kids from Algeria decide to rush the local haunted house, reasoning that the ghost inside can't get them all. Someone tell me what's going on here. I think they might be nervous and start to pray. <laughs> Their words seem to have successfully riled up something as they gather excitedly to see what's behind this wall. You'll never believe the weird things they've caught on tape. This still image taken at 3 minutes and 56 seconds shows at best the outline of a shadow figure watching them as they leave. This is some of the best paranormal evidence caught on tape that I've seen in a while. The mysterious figure is standing directly under a window and yet is still covered in darkness. Wanda Chance is riding down the road when she sees a stranger who looks out of place. He is wearing a floor-length black cloak and holds his hands in front of him, possibly making a symbol. Wanda is suspicious of him and they drive by again. I think he looks like he might just be a regular teenager, sporting a gothic clothing style and look, but Wanda notices a long and pointy ear at 1 minutes and 14 seconds and questions if he is really a person at all. What do you think about this sighting? Sure, it's strange, but is this just a person with an uncommon fashion style for the area, or a visitor from somewhere far off trying their best to fit in? Emma is too afraid to come into her parents' room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them. When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. What, baby? What, daddy? Yeah. Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever, Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, their wedding day, celebrating holidays, etc., investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of the pair committing horrific acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years, while Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had been much more active in the events than she had claimed. Subsequently, the Canadian press called her deal with prosecutors, the deal with the devil. Carla was released from prison in 2005. She's now remarried and lives in Quebec. Who would win in a swamp fight? A deer or an alligator? You're about to see. Published by Hazy Season in June of 2019. This scary video was captured at Squaw Creek Reservoir in Glen Rose, Texas. At first, the fisherman thinks he's looking at a huge fish. Look at those. What is that? Is that a dead fish? But as he gets closer, he realizes it's a deer in the water. The deer is no longer alive and it's being pulled down into the water's depths. Looks like a deer, dude. It's a dead deer. Holy By something that is so far unseen, the crew is wondering what's gotten hold of it. 
They watched for a moment and soon realized that gators got him. They then let nature take its course. Dude, what happened? Did it just like fall down this hill? Holy, holy. Although we probably all could have guessed that the gator would win this battle, I'm sure we were all rooting for the underdog. In the depths below, no one can hear you scream. But that's not the case when Redditor JTS4 went splunking in these Georgia caves. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, the Redditor writes that their GoPro recorded screaming in the darkness that they never heard in person. Moreover, he says that the caves were very quiet. So quiet, you can hear a pin drop. As other Redditors note, the distant scream heard literally sounds like one from a horror movie. It's clear in the clip that the Redditor didn't hear it as he continues to navigate through the cave, talking nonchalantly to his audience. While most agree that this is super freaky, others suggest it might not be paranormal at all. Redditor Brule's rules for your health rights reminds me of a feral hog sound. They used to go in caves near my grandma's house and get trapped inside. Other suggestions include a mountain lion or a fox, while some think it could be a woman. The Redditor says the cave is popular, so who knows, but it still doesn't explain why they didn't hear it in person at the time. He also says they were very deep in the cave along an 8 mile stretch that hasn't been fully explored. Could this be the reason why? A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe, is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020. So hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. Ready to explore one of Ohio's most dangerous abandoned places? Neither am I. Let's leave it up to Urbex Dane, who published this urban exploration of Elderwood in August of 2017. According to Dane, this street is one of the most dangerous areas in this half-abandoned city. Willing to take the risk, he entered an empty building on the creepy abandoned Cleveland Street. While well, inside a truck pulls up, the truck starts beeping and is playing music loudly. Still, Urbex continues exploring but peers out a second-story window to see who's there. It's not clear what this dude's purpose is. And that strangeness is turned up a notch when a group enters as Dane continues through the home. Unsure of what to do, he waits. Are these just more urban explorers? Or is something more nefarious going on? He creeps out into the hall, which is empty, as is the stairwell, and yet he doesn't leave. Instead, he heads upstairs. Down another stairwell, he hears this. That's where his battery runs out. Don't worry, he survived, but he doesn't know what was going on or who these strangers were. Many are noting in the comments that this could very well have been dangerous, and he was lucky he got out of there alive. 
It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. CCTV footage often captures the unexplainable, posted to YouTube by UFO Mania in May of 2018, and originally from FUMON, a ring security camera caught a strange flying entity on camera. The unknown entity shoots onto the screen, sparking in the air before settling in a glowing fuzz at the bottom of the frame. It hovers there, floating, before jolting upwards and out of sight. YouTuber Trish Robinson writes, One world has many creations in it. We simply don't understand them. Most will never be known by the masses. Is this just one of those many creations we don't understand? Nevertheless, this footage raises multiple questions I wish we had additional evidence to answer. Bryce Newbold describes this Ohio hiking experience through the Shawnee State Forest as a very rough trip, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why. It's a hot summer's day and he has many miles ahead. By four miles, he is drenched and walks about half a mile to drink from the river. His next source of water won't be until nightfall. And by then, he will have walked 12 miles. By the second day, he is feeling unusually miserable and drained, and decides to take a shorter route. I am absolutely covered in either little tiny ticks or chiggers. They're probably chiggers. They are all over me right now. I tried washing them off, but I mean, I'm going to have to go through and pick them off one by one, it looks like. He's looking pretty pale by the end of the day, even though he's been getting plenty of sun. That's because poor Bryce has been getting his legs chewed off by tiny ticks that won't give up, and by the end of the day it's looking pretty bad. And I have a million bites from those little chiggers last night. You can see they're still on there. By the time he gets back home, his legs and feet are covered in marks. I'm not a doctor, but I definitely would be going to one soon if I were him. That looks really bad and I think it's probably time for a test or two to make sure you didn't get anything from them. I really hope he's okay and that nothing like this ever happens to him again. A Malaysian man is determined to rid his home of a spirit that has been haunting his family. After eight minutes of meditation and recital, a section of the wall begins to move like someone's pressing on it. If it was the wind, then this object moves when it's all the way over here. Shortly afterwards, this strange sighting is caught on camera. It looks like a piece of dust or hair to some. Others see a special island spirit called a pokong that's twisted tightly in white robes. This part could be CGI, but that doesn't explain the object spinning on the floor by itself, away from him and away from any potential breeze. There are mysterious happenings that can be explained, and others to which there is no answer. Guess which one this mystery is? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by EBB Puzzle Headed and originally published to YouTube by Daniel Robb. In May of 2020, these screams in the Texan night sky are sure to set your hair on end. In the clip, the uploader explains that there's a sound in the distance, screaming that seems to be coming from the sky, and you can regularly hear the eerie screech off and on for nearly 8 minutes. The uploader Daniel Robb says this happened between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. and that it sounded like a banshee, followed by several voices whooping. He says the sound filled the entire night sky. 
Others in the comments agree that it's demonic or banshee-esque, citing the end of times. Redditor I have no purpose in life notes that the screams occur. Alongside the lightning strikes and wonders if they might be interconnected, I guess we may never know the actual answer. There's a road in Quartz in Switzerland that defies all explanation according to some, and a lot of people have been nervously checking it out. Here's the deal, if you go to this stretch of mountainous highway on Google Maps, it looks pretty normal at first, but don't look up unless you want to scare. This is when the scenery goes from pleasant to mysterious. That's because peeking out from the sky is what appears to be a strange pink-red monument, or else some kind of giant being with its arm held out. You can click up and down any part of this road and still look up to find whatever this strange anomaly is gazing down from above. Some people say this sky sighting is a creature, but I have a much more rational and less exciting explanation. I'm pretty sure this is part of the pole on top of the car that the camera is attached to. Normally, this part of the car is edited out, but I guess some kind of glitch in their algorithm let a piece of it show. As a result, it looks like something suspended high above. That's my theory, at least. Let me know if you agree, or if you think this really was some kind of strange sighting in the sky. A woman is cleaning an English pub after hours one night as a ghost makes a mess of everything behind her. She is mopping the floor when suddenly a sign starts to dance back and forth before returning back to normal. She returns and the sign stops moving, but as soon as she's gone again, this happens. Fuck off. <laughs> no way! When the cleaning lady returns, she notices that the sign has fallen. She appears to be giving her co-worker a hard time. You can't see what they are saying, but you can tell she thinks that he knocked it over and is now telling him to cut it out. He insists that he didn't do anything and steps over for a closer look. As he is peeking around the corner, the mop falls over. He is terrified now and quickly runs away, presumably out of the building and into the night. These contractors are doing some roof work when a woman who none of them have ever seen before decides to randomly scale the ladder and walk around the roof like she owns the place. The workers eventually convince her to climb down the ladder after a minute of debate, but judging from how she comes down, it's obvious that she doesn't have much concern for her safety or anyone else's. Here she nearly pulls the ladder over on herself. She would have absolutely sent the ladder to the ground if she was even just a few rings lower. What is she doing? What is she I don't know if she's under the influence of something or having a nervous breakdown, but I have trouble believing anyone in their right mind would try this next maneuver from any distance, let alone from so high up. What the f What the f Next, she hangs off the ladder like a trapeze artist and does one of the craziest dismounts I have ever seen. Watch how badly the ladder wobbles. It really does look like it's going to give out at any second. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with this lady? The video ends as soon as she's on the ground, so I'm not sure what happens next. Hopefully they got her the medical attention she needs and did not let her go down the street to do something even more reckless. A YouTube channel called Some Ordinary Gamers has well over a hundred videos exploring the vast reaches of the deep web. He's casually hopping from site to site when suddenly this twisted image fills his screen. So here we've got what appears to be a woman with her eyes sort of completely blacked out. Some Ordinary Gamers is hesitant about watching this video by himself late at night. With that said, he knows he needs to give the fans what they want and reluctantly presses play. So it seems like we've got music in reverse being played right now for the cameras, so beautiful stuff indeed. My... Wait, wait, hold on. She's saying numbers. It's a numbers station. What the... The girl with blacked out eyes keeps repeating a series of coded sequences over and over again. The video makes no sense and is well over five minutes long. Some ordinary gamers doesn't try to crack the code, but he does have another idea that's just as good. He runs the audio through a program and plays it in reverse. This weird melody is what he finds.
It could be hackers, the government, or even just a prank to waste people's time. Exactly what it means is anyone's guess, but mysteries like this is what makes the deep web so special, creepy, and weird. This ghost hunter is wandering down the hallway of an abandoned building when he sees this. Published by Hassan Barbar in June of 2021, something is sitting behind that door at the edge of the hallway, and I'm pretty sure it's a djinn. The door bursts open to reveal that it is indeed one of the cloaked creatures of myth. Although the djinn does not move, the door keeps slamming shut and bouncing open again. This goes on for a long while, and finally the djinn makes a move. He disappears behind the shut door. Hassan approaches and when he slams the door open and enters the room, he finds the djinn has vanished. As he looks for him, it seems like he is pushed from behind. <laughs> then in another room, objects are being smashed. <laughs> Will Hassan find the djinn again before it's too late? Leaked aerial footage was taken in late 2006. A formation of Italian fighter jets returned to base after conducting some training exercises when one of them, the one shown here, notices a thick black cloud fast approaching and only has moments to react. He performs an emergency maneuver and barely avoids a commercial airliner full of civilian passengers at the last possible second. Thankfully, his training kicked in because the much larger jetliner could not have changed its course. Look again and you'll see they come close enough to almost clip wings. If they had collided, no one would have survived. A YouTuber named Chris Javier is making a random vlog around his neighborhood late at night when he gets the weird feeling that he's not alone. Moments later, the streetlight he's standing by goes off and on by itself, which he says it has never done before. He thinks it might just be his imagination, so he decides to further test the situation by directly communicating with whatever is controlling the light, which seems to respond more than once. Here is the first time. What the heck is going on? And then the streetlight seems to taunt him even as he walks away. Was this a coincidence? Or is there no possible way? Now it's not even turning off. <gasps> as soon as I just said something about it, it turns off. A short while later, Chris sees a disheveled figure walk out from the back alley where he was just standing. They seem totally out of it and speak aggressively to an imaginary person in front of them. At this point, Chris decides to get out of there because it's early in the morning and no one else is around. But to his surprise, the stranger soon follows. The person then abruptly returns to the back alley from where they came and begins to shudder under the same streetlight that was acting weird earlier. 
They seem drawn to this area and they start swinging their arms wildly in a circle, totally forgetting about Chris, as he films the scene for a while longer and then gets away, between the lights seemingly responding to Chris's voice and a man randomly appearing from an empty back alley moments later. There just seems to be too many coincidences in this video to deny the paranormal could have been at work that night. Here's even more reason to not build your house too close to the ocean. Posted to Twitter by at Kpateras NPS, an unoccupied house was captured on video collapsing into the sea off Road in Thade, North Carolina in early May of this year. The footage shows the two-story house on stilts standing precariously near the aggressive waves as the wind whips through, then its front stilts give way, collapsing the house head first into the sea. It lands flat and is pulled out to sea for a moment by the tide, but the waves quickly push it back in. After a while, it comes to a standstill on the shore, looking sade and dilapidated. Reports say that this is the second unoccupied house to collapse on this day at Cape Hatteras. This is not a good day for those homeowners. The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky sighting over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, they're right there. Holy sh Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the crazy red show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. I admit I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. Have you ever come across a haunted playground at night? This YouTuber has. He describes this perfectly chilling nightmare fuel with even more chilling imagery writing. While driving around in some unknown forest, I found this person rocking on some kind of swing. That description alone is enough to send chills down your spine, but watch the video and you won't be able to get this nightmare out of your head. As the person filming sits inside his vehicle, shutting the headlights off and on again at random, the person rocking on some kind of swing is caught in the headlights. When the lights shut off, the next time they shine, the figure is in a different area of the forest. Its disappearance and reappearance are completely unsettling, especially when the figure comes closer and closer and closer until he disappears. Somehow his absence is the most upsetting part of the entire clip. That is, until... And that's where this video ends, leaving us wondering what happened to this unfortunate cameraman. Have you ever received a call from the beyond? TikToker Epic Paranormal posted this video, explaining that their mom received a phone call from her uncle. The only problem is, he's passed away. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that entire clip gave me chills. Many in the comments have similar stories, having received calls from their departed loved ones. Others have a feeling of dread after watching this clip. I can't blame them. <laughs> If I got a voicemail like this, I would be terrified. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by FitEntry2562, this redditor wrote, Lightning without thunder. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about.
There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Zoidberg GE thinks that this is heat lightning. Well, Tillman117 wrote, There's no such thing as heat lightning. The reason why you can't hear it is because it's simply too far away. The light from lightning can travel a very large distance as the sound cannot. Considering clouds can be thousands of feet in the air, and the distance you are from that cloud currently can just mean it's too far away for you to hear it. So it seems like both sides are at least in agreement that this mysterious storm has an explanation. But nevertheless, what do you think this is? Let me know in the comments. This girl sobs into her long black hair, and her wails of sorrow are beyond strange. Take a listen and tell me if the cries are really coming from her, or if they've been layered over top. <laughs> And just when her hair parts, and we see movements from seeing her face, if this really is a roadside ghost, then whoever is filming this should be ready for a serious haunting. I don't know much about video editing, but I will say that the video is low quality, which is a sign of computer rendering, and the upward transition looks a little rough around the edges. So although this video could be real, and from a long time ago, I do have some doubts. When ghosts need a clean getaway, they simply possess moving objects. Sometimes these objects are motor vehicles. Or so this clip would suggest, published by Truebill in January of 2018, the short video purports to show the paranormal possession of a car parked in a parking garage. This white vehicle rocks side to side, its doors open and shut, and its alarm starts going off, all while no one is near it. Even the windshield wipers start swiping, while its back door flings open and closed. Soon the car's paranormal activity sets off every car alarm in its row. The car is later seen driving through the garage, apparently without anyone at the wheel. When the security guard sees there is no driver, he races off. Is this a driverless vehicle, or is a ghost? taking this car out on a joyride. One is a lot scarier than the other. A group of ghost hunters are exploring a notoriously haunted retirement home in Ohio at 1 a.m. when they manage to find something strange and unsettling. Into the bathroom. Here it is again at half speed. One of the ghost hunters barely manages to catch this fleeting shadow while turning around. The room to the right is completely empty and nobody is inside, plus everybody else is in a different section of the house. It doesn't look like the camera is simply adjusting to different lighting conditions, so there really is absolutely no reason for a shadow to be on the right side of the screen like that. To me, it looks like something is possibly making a quick escape. This Irish family was testing out their new baby monitor when they monitored something incredibly alarming. Published by the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in October of 2018, the footage shows Alan Smith watching the monitor in another room as his wife plays with the baby in its crib. When the man pans up to see his wife's face, however, he captures something unexpected. Over her shoulder in the connecting bathroom, a creepy face peers around the corner before vanishing completely. The man hurries upstairs, shouting at his wife that he saw something behind her. Why you can? Oh, one sec, let me check if I can um, get your face. Say hello, Lisa. What the f? Lisa! Who's behind you? Is there actually anyone behind you? Seriously. There is, of course, no one in the bathroom. So to whom does this creepy face belong? Is this a cryptoid? A glitch? Or just another scary video going viral on social media? At 3.15 p.m. on February the 9th, 2004, a woman named Maura Murray withdrew $280 from an ATM. She looks serious, even frowning perhaps, or maybe I'm looking too deeply into it. Either way, this is the last recorded appearance before she disappeared in a way that's never been explained. 
24 hours after this video was taken, multiple witnesses saw Maura Murray on the side of the road with a broken down car. A school bus driver pulled over to help out, but she told him that she had already called AAA even though phone records later revealed that she hadn't, and so he left her alone, but not before reporting the bizarre experience to the police himself. When the cops arrived 20 minutes later, they found some of her personal belongings were in the car, but missing were her credit cards and cell phone. Maura Murray herself was nowhere to be found. For some strange reason, she simply wandered away from her vehicle after it broke down. None of her credit cards were ever used and her cell phone was not used either, which probably means she didn't make it very far, and yet her body was never found. Police think she might have been planning to take her own life, but if she was planning to do this, then she would obviously have no use for money, so why would she need to take out almost $300 beforehand? Mora appears to be alone in the ATM video so it's likely nobody is making her do any of this. The police have never been able to figure out her motives or if she's still alive. Mora called out of work that day and wrote she was having relationship problems with her boyfriend, but whether this was of her own free will or if someone was making her do this, to cover their tracks remains to be determined and quite possibly never will be properly explained. Nothing else happened for almost 12 years until a rather sinister video was uploaded on YouTube. This video titled Where I Put Mora shows an empty barn in the middle of the woods. A man is laughing over a picture of Mora Murray, but we never do get to see what they look like. Nobody has been able to identify where this barn is or who uploaded this video. It could be a false lead or her actual final resting place. We'll never know for sure, and police, for whatever reason, apparently have stopped trying to find out. These scary stories sound made up until you see the video evidence that goes with it. That's when these scary moments become all too real. It is said that evil resides here. This paranormal explorer is about to greet it. Ricky Velasquez seems to sense this reputed evil early on. He then senses this hiding under a bench. While outside the structure, he hears a hushed whining or whimpering. Shortly after, he hears what sounds like a bottle being kicked. Back inside, he senses something in his presence again, and then on an upper floor, this unexplained sound. Is evil still lingering? Ricky isn't the only one who can feel it. A YouTuber named Dillionaire Vlogs is trying his hardest to summon a ghost, and he won't take no for an answer. First, he tries to command the supernatural by force, then he makes fun of them and does whatever else he can think of to get any kind of reaction. Where are the demons at, man? This was taken in 2017 during Irma, and Dillionaire hopes that the electrified atmosphere will somehow help the spirit world connect with his own. Apparently, it works. The camera falls over by itself, and a voice that sounds like Dillionaire clearly says, I'm here. Hello? Anyone here? Dillionaire claims that he was possessed during this part, and made to say this against his will, though I'm not so sure about that. Then again, 134 people lost their lives during Irma, so it wouldn't really surprise me if one of them really did use his body as a conduit to say hello. A YouTuber named Chris Starr takes an electrometer to an antique store with Omar Gosh to check for signs of the paranormal. They find this creepy old marionette without a nose that seems responsive and eager to communicate. Please let us know by touching my K2 meter. We really want to know if you have a story or not. Oh. So they buy it and run some experiments in the car, where a special spirit box is waiting to help translate. First of all, the marionette seems to react positively to being untangled and held properly. 
when they ask for its name. A female voice struggles with an answer that a male voice soon finishes. Then they hear some other creepy whispers that I can't understand, but I'm hoping maybe you will. Can you tell me your name? I'm not sure what to think, but the fact that this puppet responds to two different pieces of paranormal equipment makes me think that this has a greater chance of being real than not. If it is possessed by a spirit, then it could also be cursed, in which making this video could carry dire consequences. A TikTok user named Look Dijans for You is obsessed with summoning spirits, and this time it really might have worked. He says something in the mirror, and then this wide-eyed fiend appears right behind him, only to vanish when he turns around. <laughs> At first it looks like it might have been somebody standing on the other side of the mirror, but when the light hits them, you can tell they are both in the same room. Later he is looking down a hall through a hole in the door, where the knob once was. I want you to remember the unique shape of this water pattern, because it is going to be important later. Okay, so he is looking down the hall. A second look through the hole reveals nothing, and when he turns around, he is shocked to find he is in the exact same hall he was just looking down. Water pattern and all, it's like he teleported. This video taken at the North Dallas High School in Texas by a YouTuber named Smart Dolphin captures a very hard to find figure at the end. I've highlighted the possible ghost so that you can see it more easily. This is without a doubt the colorless outline of a human. You can see his feet shift a little bit as he changes his stance if you look closely enough. With this in mind, the question becomes whether or not this person was living when this video was recorded. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to make somebody look all grey like this with some decent editing equipment, but let me know if you think this is a genuine ghost or just a fake. Jeff Wesley is a paramedic whose YouTube channel gives us a glimpse into the frantic lives of emergency medical service technicians everywhere. Today, he must drive an ambulance full speed into the heavy rains, making his job more difficult than usual. The roads are slick and the driver visibility is very low. Every intersection is a serious gamble. Sometimes the roadways grow narrow and give cars a little difficulty pulling over. At one point, some local wildlife even veers into the ambulance's path at the last minute. Oh, come on, Doc. Jesus. <laughs> I missed it! I didn't hit it! Despite all of this, Jeff Wesley gets to the scene quickly and is able to provide help. I just want to give a shout out to Jeff Wesley and all of the other EMS workers like him for their courage and service, as this video clearly demonstrates. It's past midnight at a police station in Pahang, Malaysia. A quiet crew plays chess to help pass the time, completely unaware of something that stays two moves ahead. <laughs> The faint outline of a figure leaves them fearfully singing for protection and clambering over each other to stay far away. A different police video taken 10 years later shows more scary things that are just beyond creepy. In the darkness looms a mysterious figure, not wearing a reflective vest like everyone else, that also does not reveal any detail whatsoever, even when directly under the high-powered beam of a police flashlight. <laughs> Not to mention those crying noises coming from the woods. 
It could be speakers, but I really doubt the police would be wasting time faking paranormal videos, so either this is a joke being played on them, or else these scary ghost videos are actually real. I want to get the opinions of people from Malaysia where this video was made to help me decide if these creepy videos are real or part of a viral trend or what. Either way, you know the paranormal activity is bad when even the police are too afraid to do something about it. Not that there's much they can do. If some entity starts throwing things, it's probably best to leave. Published by H.D. Adam in November of 2021, the scary video explores a ritual house. During his first walk through, a strange noise is heard off to the side. Something is in this house with Adam. The fear builds as the door slams shut. Sending the towels shaking on their hooks. Later, while Adam is talking to the camera, the curtains are jerked behind him. The spirits get angrier and throw a bucket when Adam doesn't get the message the first time. And then start throwing the pots. Even scarier, a telephone rings. And when he finds no one on the other end, something knocks on the door. If someone is there, it doesn't reveal itself, but the disturbances continue, with heavy pails falling, windows bursting open and doors swinging inexplicably. Later, when Adam does his own ritual, sitting on the floor and burning a candle, a metal object to his right starts to shake aggressively. A minute later, the lights go out and something else shakes loudly off camera. Would you be able to spend an evening in this haunted house? I can't take a minute more. Another poltergeist is haunting an abandoned church, and this one isn't so playful. Published to YouTube in July of 2021, this abandoned church has some supernatural visitors. Inside the church, amongst the whistling in the wilderness, something thuds nearby. The boys hold still, trying to listen for more unexplained noises. Moments later, they are standing there, casting light on the wall, when a distant, low-pitched moan is heard in the background. Well, in what looks like a basement space with lots of old items stored, a blast of sound is heard in the next room. Wake up, Ben. Ben. Wait, Ben. So you're Something heavy and out of sight was thrown on the ground. As the boys attempt to speak to the spirit, another strange moan sounds faintly. And then a couple of shelf doors are slammed shut with great force. In another area of the haunted church, several small successive thuds are followed by a strange double beep. They quickly get away from that space. Later, when peeking around a corner, a cabinet door slowly closes. Whatever is closed isn't caught on camera. 
Not long after, a big heavy door slowly opens before being jarringly half shut. They approach the door. There is nothing on the other side. As the scary video wraps up, one of the crew is taking in a dark room when they hear a faint noise in the darkness. Como lo hicimos en aquella ocasión que entramos a este. They look over, shining a light there but find nothing. What is following them through this church? Perhaps a demon that couldn't be redeemed. Filmed at the Holy Love Apparition site, the video shows two statues in a field backlit by the sun. Those getting the footage get closer to the statues. In the close-up, the statues' eyes appear to be blinking, while it could be an effect on the sunlight. It looks like the statue is legitimately opening and closing its eyes. Of course, there are some believers in the comments, and then there are some doubting the whole incident as well. So YouTubers, is this a miracle or just an optical illusion? In January of 2018, this emergency message was broadcasted to everyone in the entire state of Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. What's more alarming is how everyone seems to ignore the emergency directions that are instructing them to pull over. Bethany and the vehicle in front of her continue to drive, even when told by the radio to stop. Although, to be completely fair, they could have been on a one lane road with nowhere safe to pull over. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. The broadcast puts the entire island into a panic, and I feel like this livestream video summarizes everyone's reaction perfectly. The first stage is a sort of disbelief and the need to confirm it's really happening. Oh gosh, what happened? Did you guys get that? Did you not get that? There's an emergency ballistic missile threat. The next stage is acceptance that this is real, which leads to scrambling for a plan, even in the face of total obliteration. Oh my god! What do we do? And the final stage is panicking at the realization that all hope is lost, that your life is about to truly end, the urge to run somewhere, anywhere, sets in even though it's clear nothing can be done. Babe! What do we do? As it turns out, this broadcast was a major mistake made by staff at a military command post. There was nothing this time, but based on these videos and countless others, I don't think we would really do as well as we would like to think in the face of an actual catastrophe. Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Youngboy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence, and as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine went up. Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. It's not fun in games anymore when something like this happens. Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Adam Gray 59 the redditor is wondering if this is poltergeist activity. In the video, some gamers are playing Call of Duty, and the gamer on screen appears to have gone for a bathroom or snack break. His chair is empty, or maybe it isn't. 
The chair starts swiveling quietly around. Of course, this unnerves the player on the opposite side of the screen. Is a ghost occupying this chair? Redditor TommyMCY in the comments says, It's a gamer ghost. While others are more skeptical, saying things like chairs simply do that on their own. So, gamer ghosts are just an off-kilter chair. I'd like to think a ghost was at the controls. There's an eerie sound coming from the Golden Gate Bridge that is making people lose their minds. A constant haunting hum that can be heard from miles away. Try to guess what it is. Between the red rails is where the mysterious noise is coming from, and as it turns out, this is from a mistake in a recent redesign of the bridge. The new rails were mistakenly spaced apart just enough to let the wind come screeching through at an unbearable volume. It happened in June of 2020, and as of the time of this video, I was unable to find any evidence that it's been fixed. Beware of randos crossing the road at night, especially if they look like they've just escaped an asylum. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this creepy clip was discovered on YouTube and originally posted in May of 2020. A couple of men are driving down a highway near Riga one night when they slow down for a stray individual to cross the road. It's not clear if the person is a man or woman. Whatever the case, they've got long dark hair and are only wearing a large oversized white shirt. The pedestrian slowly starts to cross as the men pull to a stop, but the stranger stops halfway and turns around to face the vehicle head on. For a moment they stand there before heading again on their way. Those in the comments are flabbergasted as the driver from the video, with some saying that's obviously a witch, while well, Sony Bravo adds, I was expecting her to lash out to be honest. Talk about an anticlimactic ending. This clip shows a normal psychedelic filter, the electric color surrounding the girl in frame. She then turns her camera to span the room. The filter follows for a moment before becoming absent from the shot, as the room is empty. Or is it? The person detecting filter appears to detect someone in the chair sitting opposite. No one is there, and yet the silhouette of a human form starts to appear in the shot in shocking black and white. It seems to be seated in the chair. The girl turns the filter back to her face, and the shocking figure follows, blending into the psychedelic filter colors around her again. Redditor HydraWrench97 is both tentative in jumping to the paranormal and rightly creeped out. She writes, Usually these Snapchat filter ghost clips are glitching, and basically the camera falling for pareidolia, but this one is weird, might just be the spookiest glitch ever, but it is very weird, and would scare me if that was my living room, maybe it sees something we don't. A devious Dora doll goes exploring this house in a freaky paranormal way, the moving figurine is caught on camera doing some really weird things that probably weren't advertised on the back of the box, creepy stuff like this. According to the uploader of this video, there were no batteries in this doll when Dora turns to face the camera like she's been caught. You must pay attention, but as one person pointed out, you can see the doll slowly turning its head for about 13 seconds before it snaps. The little girl is too busy singing to notice what's going on, or maybe she's used to it happening by now. Then again, maybe there is somebody behind the door holding the doll in such a way that we can't see their hand. This driver and his friend both spot something strange while driving in Davidson, Maryland. They claim that this is a large black mass. I don't see anything during this first part, but let me know if you do. Dude, get out of here. Back up, back up, Bring up back. I definitely see something here though, and I'll even highlight it for you. There it is again. I see it. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. What's crazy is how the object mysteriously disappears in less than a second. Based on how fast they speed away, 
I have little doubt that this video is absolutely real and they felt like their lives were at risk. This most haunted hospital in Guadalajara carries an evil energy and this crew is there to investigate it. When they turn down a dark hallway, they appear to see some movement. Things intensify as they start to hear noises in the hospital. They walk down the hallway and come across a creepy surgical room. Mira esto. They feel a presence in the chapel. Que son utilizados, bueno, para parte de esto, pero para otras cosas más, más pesadas. Si escucha esa voz, muchas veces no lo quiero decir porque espero que la gente lo diga, pero si lo escuché, tú lo escuchaste. Then they hear something unexpected. Ay, ¿Dónde está el perro? Yo me imaginé que venía de todo. Oh, sí, está bien el perrito, entonces. Is that Cujo? They seem to hear something in this room. Later, they walk down the hallway into a room where many people say they feel anguish. The woman also explains why they light candles to spirits instead of offering up their own energy. Yo siempre ofrezco mi energía, la verdad. Eso no es bueno. ¿Qué me puedes decir eso? No. Una, pues les estás diciendo que pueden tomar toda tu energía. Well, I didn't see anything terrifying on this hospital tour. I do feel the energy being sucked out of me just watching this. Do you feel the same? It's a little past 3 a.m. when Brayden Lee hears objects falling over and strange noises coming from within the wall. The situation sounds like it could be paranormal until he turns the lights on and sees this small but scary creature perched in the corner of the room. Now it's time for his dad to get the creature out of his home and into the night. The bat has been flying everywhere and he only has a few moments to act before it goes airborne again, so he has no choice but to put on some gloves and catch the creature. And it's all caught on tape to make for a scary 3AM video indeed. He lets out a terrified scream and fumbles the bat before recovering and taking it outside. I'm glad that everyone is alright and that it didn't land on his face or anything because it definitely would have defended itself and there's no telling where that creature has been or what it has. Oh my god. That was good. Trace, am I a hero or what? Longleat Castle is a stately home in England built in the 16th century. It serves as the seat of the Marquess of Bath and apparently of a ghost. Published by Steve Hugh in March of 2013, this scary video shows the ghost in action. As the lights flicker overhead in a hallway, a shadow figure descends the staircase. You can see the figure's footprints take each step until it arrives at the bottom of the stairs, where it casts a shadow on the hardwood floor. There are clanking noises throughout the entire video and footsteps. They seem to be coming closer and closer to the cameraman, while the shadow moves further and further away. When the shadow figure disappears at the end of the hallway, the lights start flickering there as well. Is this genuinely paranormal? 
While many in the comments say this is compelling and looks legit, others say that this video is either edited or that it could be a hologram effect at Longleat Castle to freak out guests who visit. What do you think is really going on here? Lispy Jimmy is a popular YouTuber and streamer with a loyal audience. But when somebody drops by his house uninvited at 3 a.m., he feels alarmed instead of flattered. What to do? I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is a fan or not, but. Now, Lispy Jimmy finds himself in a scary predicament. He definitely does not want to go outside and risk getting attacked. But at the same time, he wants to catch this person on camera for future evidence. He decides to open the door and cautiously scans the yard. He doesn't see anything at first, but then there is some movement across the street. A tall man looks to be in distress as he paces in circles for no apparent reason at all. It's creepy enough to make Lispy Jimmy retreat into the house and check all the locks. He and his girlfriend spend the rest of the video wondering if someone else is there with them and jumping at every sound they hear. But they make it through the rest of the night without incident. I guess they could have staged this video with the help of a friend, but there is also a good chance that it could be a random fan or even an absolute stranger. There just isn't enough evidence for me to tell for sure, but I would like to get your impressions. The Three Haunted Explorers is the name of a paranormal YouTube channel that doesn't need to go exploring very far to find something spooky. That's because a scary ghost is already haunting their room, or so they claim, and this is the best paranormal evidence they've caught on camera so far. They set up a night vision camera. Soon they've caught the ghost moving stuff like cabinet drawers. Part of the drawers aren't shown, so the ghost hunters might be moving it off camera. But just when I was starting to doubt whether this scary video was real, more objects begin moving on their own. On a table behind them, caught on camera is the reflection of a possible ghost moving across the surface. They put everything back in place and wait. That's when the ghost knocks all of the objects over once again by moving a chair. The swivel chair continues to move on its own as if a ghost is pushing it. At 33 seconds, a mysterious shadow even walks in front of the camera. A ghost. The paranormal explorers would later say, although it could have belonged to them. Stuff keeps falling over by itself, which is creepy, but they could be crawling across the floor to fake the paranormal activity. I hope they make more creepy follow-up videos from a better angle to show us more of the room when it happens. This clip was posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Scream Aim and Fire. When you're home alone and you start catching things moving out of the corner of your eye, you may begin to wonder whether you're really alone after all. Scream explains that, days before, she had noticed a bell hanging from the ceiling move slightly, but there was no breeze and nothing else hanging in the room was moving. Thereafter, when she was home alone, she started to hear things, like people pacing the hallways. She turned on her camera after hearing something fall in the home, as she was determined to go and investigate. The Redditor notes that later, after re-watching the video, a couple orbs flew by. Even scarier, she writes, I think I saw my mother-in-law's doll move too. Watch the video closely, and you'll see exactly what she's talking about. As she walks into her mother-in-law's room, the doll sitting on a chair against the back wall does appear to move its head ever so slightly. While the orbs captured throughout the video could very well be dust, it's hard to explain the doll's inexplicable movement. Does the Redditor have a Chucky situation on her hands? If so, she'd better flee before the gloves come off. When you have video proof from not one, but three angles, it's hard for paranormal deniers to say it's all in your head. Posted by one ocelot 4 to the Ghosts subreddit, the Redditor caught the strange shadow in his kitchen on a security camera. He said the window shutters were down and nothing in the kitchen was turned on. He also mentioned in the comments that he sometimes feels cold spots in the hallway and his security camera often goes off when he leaves the house. Whether you believe in the paranormal or not, the following footage is hard to explain. The clip shows a large, dark shadow flash past. 
falling over the kitchen entryway for just a moment. Not only has the uploader captured this footage from one vantage point, but he has all three cameras on it, and they all show the creepy shadow flicker past. What in the world could be creating this terrifying effect? Those in the comments have plenty of theories. Redditor Mr. Mesquite says it's obviously a ghost writing. Very harmless unless you are harmed. Good luck. Will many note that it could be something casting the shadow from outside through the windows? The Redditor reiterates that the shades are closed. So who do you choose to believe? Is there a practical explanation? Or should this Redditor bring in a medium and scope out the situation? As another Redditor suggests, whatever happens, I don't think I'd be entering that kitchen for a while. Do you believe in teleportation? This video may convince you. Published to YouTube by Esocetric and Paranormal World in February of 2019. This dashcam video shows a figure teleporting into the middle of a busy street, resulting in a traffic mishap. In the clip, vehicles are barreling down a highway, when all of a sudden, a figure dressed in black seems to fall through a glitch in the matrix and right onto the scene. The white vehicle in front of the source, with the dash cam, moves out of the way just in time, avoiding the figure by mere feet. The teleporting figure moves off to the side, but is seen bending over, as if sick, or maybe as if to crouch down out of view. The driver gets out of his vehicle, but doesn't approach the teleporter. The car with the dash cam simply drives off. It's unclear if any investigation into the strange occurrence followed. Mapat Bare in the comments suggests this person got out of the car. Others agree that the man either jumped out, fell out, or was forced out. If that's the case though, wouldn't you see a car door fling open? All the doors on this vehicle appear to be closed the entire time. It's a conundrum, but don't worry, we have plenty of time to figure this one out. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.